Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm here today to give you guys a little review of the items that I received in this month's Glossy Box. I resubscribed to Glossy Box this month in March. I got a three for th three boxes for £33 deal. So I'll be getting the March. I've got already had the March box. I'll be getting the April and the May box. And that's probably it for now, guys, just because it fit the budget. I had a few pounds left over from Feb. And then for March, April and May, I had £10 each in the budget. So it came to like 36 that I had to spend. So this 33 it just fit. <laughs> and it was the only box that did. And I saw this box on Sussex, uh, Sussex Sandra's channel. And she was very pleased with all the items. And I thought, a lot of boxes are going up in price this one wasn't and I thought you know what give it a go for three months now we did the unboxing the other day but since then I've had a chance to use each of these products twice so I thought right let's come back on talk about them and see what I think now that I'm actually using the stuff so we're going to start off over here with the shampoo and conditioner now the shampoo says in a sense colour awakening her bath that is just a shampoo and then the other one says colour radiance daily conditioner they are 59.15 millilitres each really peculiar size there now glossy box does promise a value of 50 pounds plus a month however I, you know I paid 11 so I'm just looking at this as are each of these products worth the £2.20 that it comes to? And yeah, you know, obviously these are much more expensive than that. They are a shampoo and conditioner that I'm probably not going to go on to buy just because they're a bit pricier. But they've been a nice little treat. And that's what I wanted, just a few beauty treats really. And the colour radiance and colour awakening. Well, I dye my hair black like every month. So this is coming quite handy for me and I was using a shampoo in my last empties that really wasn't working out for me. So it was good time in here to have this little set and with it being colour awakening as well, it's just going to be me using these. Now I've used these, each of them, twice and my hair likes it. I'd say they go quite far. The shampoo, it does tend to, I put a little bit less in my hand than what I thought I needed. I'll see how it lathers up. It lathers up extremely well. It smells nice. So even though it's not that big, um, it certainly will do more uses than, you know, perhaps I thought. Because I've used it twice. I'm easily going to get at least three, maybe four more uses out of this. And same with this one. Again, it smells nice. It seemed to go quite far. It seemed to spread out in my hair quite well. So again, I'm going to get probably five uses out of this. Maybe maybe six, I don't know guys, it seems to go quite far, so a nice little set there and good to get a shampoo and a conditioner together, so happy with that. Next, I think it, this, is, this is my favourite item, I think. It's so great, it's the Medicaid Surface Radiance Cleanser, resurfacing AHA, BHA. Mangosteen cleansing gel, 40 millilitres, 1.3 fluid ounces. This smells beautiful. <laughs> it says there at the top, a powerful cleansing gel designed for those with skin ageing concerns. Exfoliating acid, AHA, BHA, works alongside invigorating citrus extracts to respectively resurface and refresh the complexion. The skin surface is left soft, smooth and visibly radiant. Well, I actually think that's true. The citrus extracts are incredibly nice. Really enjoy the smell of this product when I'm using it. And it does seem to be brightening up my skin. And I do, I am a fan of things that are radiant now. I seem to have been getting more and more into radiance products. And I don't think this is something that would have ended up in my hands if it wasn't for this box. So this one's an absolute win for me. I'd say probably my favourite item in the box. So all of these items have gone straight in the bathroom. And I've got sensitive skin. I've got oily skin. It works well for me. It lathers up nicely. 
and it leaves me feeling quite refreshed so absolute win there and you don't need a lot this will probably last me way over a month maybe even two but I'm using it daily and I'm liking it very much and the rituals of Secura blossoming hand wash rice milk and cherry blossom I feel like this is the perfect kind of mix here of a treat item but at the same time quite a practical everyday item because we all need to wash our hands it's got a pump it's convenient it's 110 mil so it's a decent size I can use this every day and enjoy it and it feels a little bit nicer a little bit more luxurious than perhaps some that you can pick up for a couple of quid on the high street it isn't drying, which is great because we have eczema sufferers in the house. It's vegan and cruelty free. <coughs> Festa quite likes the smell of this one as well, don't you? I do. It's nice cherry because we all like our fruity scents. So this is getting used on the daily. It went straight in the bathroom. And I mean, that's what you want from these boxes. Items that are going to go straight into you. So, you know, straight into the bathroom. And all four of these did. So I'm very pleased with all four of these items. And then the fifth and final item is the highlighter from Floss in Sunbeam Brighten Up. Now it does say highlighter. I did swatch this. I'm just going to ask Festa to open that one up for me. And it's... Well, yeah. I did. The, there is some on my arm there. As you can probably tell, it's got glittery particles in it. You're wondering how I've hit pan so hard well, or so easily. Well, the bobbin just dug right through that and I kind of ended up piling it on the sides. Yeah, so little ones will hit pan for you in a matter of seconds. So I've never tried this brand before. <laughs> There's not a massive amount of product in that pan. It is a fairly shallow pan. Trying to see if there's an amount on there. It does say not for resale at the bottom. So from that, I would assume it isn't quite full size. This to me is not a highlighter. It's way too glittery to be a highlight highlighter. Now, perhaps if you've got deeper, darker skin, where well, you really need that oomph for it to show up, maybe it would work for me. I can't be putting sparkly highlighter on my cheeks. It just looks silly and it just looks too much. However, what I did do is I put some setting spray on a brush and used this as eyeshadow for the past couple of days. And as an eyeshadow, it works nicely enough. I do probably have a few shades that are similar. So a highlighter would have been a bit more perhaps interesting to me, but... I can get some use out of it, just not in the way that it was intended. So, yeah, for that reason, I'm going to give this one a half point because it's not quite what I expected, but I am getting some use out of it. It will get used, but these other four, definitely a point each. So it's a solid four and a half out of five if my next two boxes can do as well as this one I'll be pleased I mean what what do I want to see out of glossy box I've been thinking well I like seeing sheet masks I like seeing bubble masks I like seeing coffee scrubs more rituals would be nice um if they wanted to feature either of these two brands again I'd be very pleased with that I like to see at least one makeup item a month so hopefully a nice makeup item for April and for May. What else would I like to see? Um, a top coat for nails would be good. Maybe a nail, a nail varnish in a fun colour. But yeah, just five beauty treats a month. So did you get this month's box? Did you get the same as me? Because I have noticed that some people sometimes get different but it seems like everyone got the same this month so yeah let me know down below do you agree with my assessment I'm very much looking forward to my next box guys it's been a good one and for 11 pounds certainly a win all right take care of yourselves guys don't forget to like and subscribe much love till the next one